Hey guys, out in the garage today. I thought I would share a little tip for you as I'm working on, believe it or not, my winter beater. Pop the brake line. Yep, my own fault. Should have been paying closer attention. In any event, sometimes the brake fittings are um, a little goofy. You know, who wants to use 10 bazillion adapters? You know, forget all that. So here's the tip. I take the old fitting. You know, this one I spun off when I... Uh, in spite of my best efforts, I spun the uh, the crappy tubing. Sometimes, it, actually, it's just easier to cut them and put a socket on them. But in any event, sometimes you got that rusted in stub to deal with. So what I did was take a center drill just to make sure my drill point's starting on center. In my case, I take a 1164 bit because I've got a 3 16 line. And I go just shy of all the way through, like maybe an eighth of an inch, a little bit less. And the reason I do that is you can see that bit wobbling a little bit. Even in spite of your center drill, sometimes you're not going to get it perfectly on center just because of the materials rusted or whatnot. But I do that. I take a punch and with a little bit of a light tap... There we have it. I can get, I'm trying to do this one-handed. <laughs> you can get that little stub out. So the reason I don't always like to go, you can even see there, see how the drill bits, uh, can we focus? You can see how the bit is a little bit off center. If you'd gone through with a 3 sixteenths, you'd have cut into the fitting. So by using the uh, little size under, you uh, are able to, you know, uh, deal with that off center a little bit just due to the nature of the beast and not really hurt the fitting at all so a little tip maybe that i'll save you a little bit of effort from trying to find these goofball fittings sometimes all right guys have fun stay warm